Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, yesterday I put up a video about a new shader that's being worked on for Minecraft by Sonic Ether, one of the biggest names in Minecraft shaders out there. And it's using ray tracing. Actually, it's using path tracing, which is a kind of ray tracing, but it's doing it in software, so it doesn't really have anything to do with the RTX hardware that's on the new RTX 20 series NVIDIA graphics cards. However, there was a section in that video which very clearly demonstrates the difference and benefit of ray tracing versus screen space reflections and older cheatier ways to do light and reflections and things like that, that has had a, more than a few people leave comments on the video saying, hey, you've just explained ray tracing better than NVIDIA ever did in their six months of marketing for their ray tracing cards. Uh, has it been six months yet? Feels like it. Uh, so I thought I'd clip that out, put it in this, its own video, just as a shortcut way for you guys to find and share exactly what ray tracing is when someone's sort of under a mistaken impression of what it is and what the benefits are and is it any use in a game and does it make a difference in game and uh, does it make the game better in any way and the answer to that is yes kind of from the immersion point of view anyway i'm going to show you the clip right here uh and just as a nice little self-contained shareable thing except for the ramble at the beginning of this video yeah let me let me take you down here near our pirate ship and i'll show you a really, really clear demonstration of exactly why ray tracing is just a huge game changer. All right, so uh, let's go back to night, maybe. There we go, it'll be clearer. So as you can see here, we've got the, the reflection of my uh, lighthouse is the word I'm looking for. The reflection of my lighthouse, you've got the reflection of the lights along the shoreline and the lights along my little train line there and the boat uh, here, there's a little squiddy. Um, so we can see all that. No problems. That's, you know, it, it looks like it should look. Let me go back to the non ray tracing shaders again, and I'll show you exactly why ray tracing is so important. You see the difference? I mean, aside from the difference in the texture, the, the color of the light, which is just, you know, and I, oh, we've got some weird glitching going on there as well. <laughs> um, can you spot the difference? We're still getting reflections of those lights over there a little bit. Not not as not as accurate, but you know, you can still sort of see the reflection of the hillside and things like that. You don't get the little point lights or anything, uh, or from these, but you do get sort of a reflection of that thing there in the water. You know, it looks pretty accurate. But look, half the half the lighthouse is missing. And look on the uh, left hand side of my screen there. Half the boat is missing. It only reflects what is actually being rendered in my field of view. It doesn't know about the stuff behind me. That's what ray tracing does. So if I look down here, the boat's reflection is just a little smudge. If I look down here, the further down I look, the more of that lighthouse disappears. I have to look up to get it to reflect down to the bottom there. That's what ray tracing does. That's why this is so very cool, because it, it shows you the proper real environment. See, look at that. All the lighthouse, no matter how far, I mean, I can, the lighthouse can be completely off screen. And it's still reflected there because the, the light is being traced from it. Same with the boat. All of the boat is there, no matter where I am. That, and look, the little point lights are back. All of those. Because the light from those is being traced from the source to my eye. Or actually, I think it's done the other way around as far as the game is concerned. But that's the, the point is, uh, it looks so much more realistic and accurate. I mean, that's a funny thing to say about Minecraft, I know. But it's just another level of... Um, just a, another level of immersion, basically. So thank you for watching. Do the thing where you subscribe and like and share and follow me on the Twitch and stuff like that, I suppose. Hopefully you've got a much better idea about what ray tracing is, why ray tracing is, and why people are excited about it, and why NVIDIA have spent so much time, effort, and money investing in uh, their hardware and their marketing for ray tracing. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.